Okay, students, I have a challenge for you. I'm going to create a vector flower, and you are going to recreate it. First, click on the pen tool. Left click on the screen, left click again, again, and again, creating an upside down triangle. And then I'm going to create a shape to a petal here. I'm going to go ahead and left click, uh, I'm sorry, double click on that node, and I am going to stretch it out to get kind of a curved shape. Double click again, and again stretch this out to get a curved shape. And there's my petal, it's a little big, so I'm gonna scale it down by clicking the Move tool. Click the Move tool, left click, and to constrain my proportions, I'm gonna hold down the Shift key. Got my flower the way I want it, my petal. I'm gonna go ahead, while the petal is selected, I'm gonna right click, copy, right click, paste. I'm gonna move that out going to take uh, this little circle. I'm going to rotate the petal. I'm going to move it into position. And I want to select both of these now and join them as one. I can do that by just left clicking and dragging off center from them. And I've got them both selected. I go ahead and click Union. Union will make them one object. Awesome. So now I'm going to change the color. Click on the gradient or uh, the uh, swatch there, the white swatch, and then click on Radial Gradient. I'm going to double click on the black and choose bright red, and I'm gonna double click on the white and choose more of a pink color. And then I'm gonna left click and create a new color, double click, and I'm gonna choose kind of a pinkish hue here and Click OK, and then I'm going to move the center of that gradient kind of more towards the center-ish of the shape. You can see that here. Click OK, and now I'm going to go ahead and uh, right-click and copy, and right-click and paste. And depending on your flower, you may have to do this a few more times in order to uh, get the shape that you want. You can also use Control-V on your keyboard and I'll rotate that get the shape of my flower okay I'm gonna rotate that just a little bit back okay so there's my flower all my petals I'm going to control click each one of those and then that'll allow me to have them all selected right click and group them so now they're just one group Okay, but separate objects. All right, now I gotta create the middle of my flower, so I'm gonna choose my circle. It's your stamen. Okay, I could do an ellipse, but I wanna make it a circle, so I click the shift key and that constrains my proportions. Got my circle. Uh, not a good color, choose the move tool. Choose uh, the white swatch over here to change the radial gradient again. I'm gonna double click on the black choose an orange. I'm going to double click on the white, choose a yellow, and that's uh, still white. I didn't do it quite right. And choose a yellow. And then I'm going to click OK. I don't like the black stroke around it, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, un uh, click on the stroke uh, so that that goes away. Awesome. Now I just need to create my line. So I use the line tool, left click in the middle and drag down below somewhere. It's straight, black, it's not good. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the stroke color, change that to a deeper, darker green, and change the size of the stroke to 12. And then I'm gonna round the corners so the ends are rounded. A little better, but I'm still gonna curve it. So if I choose the move tool, and I double click on the object and then double click on the nodes. Oops. Then I can go ahead and curve them and get this nice, awesome little curved stem here. Problem is it's still in front. So I'm going to choose the backward and forward tools to go back, right? And go backward, I can go forward, back, back, one. There you go. I'm going to click off. And there is my flower.
good luck.